ভূমিকা ছবি করা তো গুড মর্নিং স্টুডেন্টস হাউ আর ইউ thank you very much thank you thank you very much it's me benaki teacher of penny government pilot high school i am going to take a class on grammar look at me what is this mobile phone sir mobile phone it's a mobile phone thank you very much now tell what is it so this is back cover back cover wonderful thank you what is this that that's a mobile battery sir it's a battery of a mobile phone excellent thank you now look at this what are these parts of mobile phone parts of mobile phone, phone. Mobile phone. these are the parts of mobile phone these are the parts of mobile phone. mobile phone thank you very much now i am sharing whiteboard look at the board রায়হান 
the part of speech. It is also, also part, part of speech. speech. We part are going to discuss about part of speech. Speech. <coughs> Parts of speech. speech. From our speech. boyhood or when we were child. When we were children. We learned about parts of speech. Who can say which parts of speech are very important or very much used in our day to day life? Noun and verb. Now, noun and verb. Great. It's great. You have, you have said the correct answer. Noun and verb. These, these parts of speech are very important in our human life or in our life. They do delay. First comes noun, then comes verb. verb. Who can say what is verb? Can anybody say me what is verb? Verb is a part of a speech which is used to present an action or an activity. Anyone else? Verb is a kind Barb of is action. Verb is a part of speech which is defined to one. Raise your hand. Samsudin, tell what is verb? Verb is a part of a speech which indicates a work. Action of work. Thank you very much. Who else? Rupam. Any kind of action is verb. Any kind of action is a verb. Pardon. Very sweet. Thank you. Now, we can say that verb is a word that is used to state something or state some action. Who can say how many types of verbs or what are the categories of verb? Satman, Satman Hussain. Satman Shabar, so finite verb and non finite verb. Finite verb and, and non finite verb. verb. Verbs are divided into two. They are finite and non finite. Non -finite. finite and non finite. Excellent. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. We can divide the verb into two. First, finite. Non, non finite, finite and non finite. Who can say what is finite verb? Raise your hand. Only Satman Shabab Protoy. Satman Shabab Satman Shabab Protoy. What is finite verb? Uh, finite verb is a kind of verb which uh, do not need any help to express itself. It can uh, it can express the whole work without any kind of help of other verbs. Nice. Your answer is nice. Thank you very much. Who else can say the 
डेफिनेशन ऑफ फाइनाइट वर्क टू एल्स ओके आई एम टेलिंग फाइनाइट वर्क इज ए काइंड ऑफ वर्क फाइनाइट वर्क इज ए काइंड ऑफ वर्क which completes which completes the meaning of a sentence finite verb is a verb which completes the meaning of a sentence so who can say the definition of non finite verb who can say the definition of non finite verb the non finite verb is a kind of verb which cannot complete the meaning of a sentence yeah i mean wonderful you have done well but but you should repeat the answer repeat it repeat yeah i mean uh, the non finite verb is a kind of verb which cannot complete the meaning of a sentence so thank you very much who else can say what is non finite verb okay non finite verb non finite verbs are those verbs that cannot complete the meaning of a sentence it only helps to complete the meaning of a sentence to the finite verb it is the assistant of finite verb that means non finite verbs are the assistant of finite verb are you clear finite and non finite who can give example of finite and non finite verb tell tell a sentence yes sir that carries both finite and non finite verb सर्वान सभा प्रत्यय एन एग्जांपल ऑफ फाइनाइट एंड नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब्स इज रोहिम इज गोइंग टू द मार्केट टू बाय सम सम ग्रोसरीज सर इखने फाइनाइट वर्ब हो से इज गोइंग एवं नॉन फाइनाइट वर्ब टू बाय पॉज पॉज अ मोमेंट लेट मी राइट डाउन रोहिम इज going to the market to the market to buy some buy. groceries to buy some groceries some groceries spell the word grocery is it okay e thank you now tell me Which verb is finite verb and which one is non-finite verb? In this sentence, is going is uh, finite verb and is going is finite uh, verb and to buy. Yes, sir. Is going and is to finite. Buy. Yes, sir. is going is finite verb but which one is non finite to buy to buy to buy is non finite verb
thank you thank you very much now who can say finite verb how many kinds of finite verb rupam raised rupam how many kinds of finite verbs say rupam how many kinds of finite verbs are there rupam Finite verbs are there. Are there 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 Two. Two. Sir, finite verbs sir, are divided first. into two. What are they? Sir, principal verb and auxiliary verb. Principal. Excellent. Principal verb and auxiliary verbs. I am writing principal verbs and finite verbs are divided into two. They are principal verbs, principal and auxiliary. principal and auxiliary from the beginning verb we are going to draw a chart of verbs now guess what can be the finite verb uh, sorry what can be the principal verb or what what are the functions of principal verb in a sentence who can say what is finite verb sorry who can say what is the principal verb only one what about the others set set one sabab protto tell what is finite verb uh, what is principal verb principal verb is the name of an action or an activity can anybody say can any other student say what is principal verb Yamin. Ah, uh, sir, principal verb is a kind of verb which can complete the meaning of a sentence without uh, giving any help of other of any words. Super. Thank you very much. Now, can anybody give the definition of auxiliary verb? Sir, Mahar, Pratyay, Tell. Auxiliary verbs are those verbs who do not uh, who do not have meaning of their own, but it helps to other uh, principal verb to uh, fulfill their meaning. Fine. Or thank to tell you. the time. Who else can say the meaning uh, definition? Who else can say the definition of? auxiliary verb
What about the others? Auxiliary. Auxiliary means helper. Auxiliary man means helper. Think of the work of a helper. What does a helper do? What does a helper do? It what helps does other. a helper do? It helps other. It is a helper always helps others. So auxiliary verb is also helper or helping verbs. It helps the other verbs or or principal verb. It helps the principal verb to complete the meaning of a sentence. Now, who can say how many kinds of principal verbs are there? Yami. Sir, there are two kinds of principal verbs. They are transitive verb and non -trans intransitive verb. Intransitive verb. Transitive and inter excellent. Principal verbs can be divided into two. And they are they transitive are transitive and, in and Intransitive. intransitive fine can you give an example of it example that means you have, to, you have to say a sentence that carries that carries transitive intransitive principle auxiliary and some other verbs. Some other verb, verbs. Rupam. The example of transitive verb is the boy plays. The boy? Plays. The boy plays. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who else can say? Arab. Arab. The me. boy eats. The boy eats. The boy eats. Extend the sentence. Only two words. You are saying only two or three words. What about a long sentence? Tell me a long sentence with some other verbs. Who can say an extended sentence of principal verb, auxiliary verb, an extended sentence having principal verb, auxiliary verb, transitive verb, intransitive verb? Sarman? Sir, sorry sir, I cannot remember. What about the others? Think of yourself for two minutes. Think yourself for two minutes.
who has got sir eta ki sir object actor object ekadhi transitive verb must transitive verb must need uh, an object arab wants to say arab sir the driver stop at the car the driver stop the car stop it's it it's a tran transitive sentence that bears a transitive yes. verb tran transitive verbs are those that carries transitive verbs are those that carries an object yes sir we have understood have you understood yes sir okay thank you very much now look at the diagram verb verbs are divided into two finite non finite finite verb and non finite verb finite verb is divided into two principal verb auxiliary verb principal verb is also divided into two transitive verb intransitive verb transitive verbs are those that that bears or carries an object such as such as the boy plays football the boy plays football this is this word is a Uh, sorry this sentence is a transitive sentence and play is a transitive verb play is a transitive verb because it has an object that is football that is football if you don't tell football the boy plays if you say only this only these words the boy plays it cannot give or it does not give us the complete sense or it does not have object so it cannot be a transitive verb when you use football then it becomes a transitive sentence and the verb becomes a transitive verb someone said babu eats it's the sentence we know eat is transitive verb but in this sentence it is not a transitive verb because the word eat has no object in this sentence yes sir have understood yes sir okay thank you now go to intransitive verb mani beta dekhi intransitive verb yamin raised hand okay yamin say what is intransitive verb the intra a A, a, a verb which has not any uh, object and makes a sentence uh, and makes a sentence by itself without uh, an object is called an intransitive verb thank you thank you very much now give an example of this sentence <coughs> give an example the girls ha uh, give an example birds fly birds fly birds fly in the sky okay uh, arab raised his hand arab what about sir, the girl sings 
Dagar Singh. Singh. Yes, sir. The girl sings, but if you say the girl sings a song, the girl sings. sings. In this in this sentence, sing is a sing is an intransitive verb. But if you say the girl sings a song, what happens then? Ara. What happens then? The girl sings a song. Now, what type of verb is the is sings in this sentence? Transitive. Uh, Arab said, or uh, Yavin said, transitive. It's correct, transitive. But what about this sentence? The girl sings. In this sentence, sings is a sings is an intransitive verb. But but the later sentence comes with the girl sings a song. In this sentence, sings is a transitive verb. Now. I think all of you are clear about the verb with the uh, with the classification of finite verb, non-finite verb, principal, auxiliary, transitive, intransitive. Are you clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are necessary for you while you are going to re while you are going to use or complete the fill in the gaps completing the gaps using right form of verbs that is important for your exam right form of verbs from this from this you will say you, you will see we are going to our next lesson our next lesson will be on the remaining part of verbs, non-finite verb. We will discuss about non-finite verb in our next class. Till then, be happy, stay home, use mask where when you go out outside of your house, you must wear mask. Thank you very much. See you at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Assalamu alaikum, sir.